Hi traders, welcome to the sneak preview of the new FX Argo Trader Real Time Correlation Indicator, which is using the JavaFX control interface. So what we've got here is MT4, MetaTrader 4, and you can see where we can analyze real time correlation data on any time frame uh, we want to. But each time frame can be set up uniquely. So with the interface at the moment, I'm running on M1 and I'm analyzing the following pairs, as you can see, so which is a, a mix of foreign exchange and indices. And so let's walk through the interface in a bit more detail. So all of the all of the pairs are user definable, obviously, and you've got a drop down which consists of major forex pairs and some minor crosses as well. But also you can type in any pairs you want to analyze yourself. So if you want to remove pairs from the analysis, you just deselect them and change it to a blank. And you'll see when you get tick data, the, the uh, correlation data is immediately being reshaped um, on this matrix here. The correlation data is based upon the Pearson correlation coefficient and the data is pulled from your MT4 account. So providing your charts are up to date, um, you'll get very accurate correlation data, which will be more accurate than pretty much anywhere else you can get it on the web. Uh, I don't know of anywhere where they're doing correlation updates. Um, this is being updated every 10 seconds. I've got a calculation frequency of 10 seconds on this. So, it's, so the system will recalculate the correlation every 10 seconds, which is a bit of an overkill, to be honest with you. So you can see we can an analyze up to 25 pairs against each other with correlation. They can be anything which is quoted. So you can have Forex commodities, stocks, CFDs, whatever it might be you're looking to analyze, you can do so. So if I wanted to add in, uh, say, gold, I just type the ticker symbol for gold, and you can see now we've got a gold column here, and we can see what whether it's correlated against different uh, assets. So let's walk through the controls on the correlation system a little bit in a bit more detail. So if we scroll down in the interface, we can see we've got filter values for positive thresholds and negative thresholds. And that means that I'm screening out any positive pairs which have a correlation of over 80%. So if I increase that to say 90, you'll see that the number of yellowy pairs is reducing because I've selected a color of green yellow for positively correlated pairs and in the same way if I increase the negative correlation threshold to say 90 you can see the red color we're using for negatively correlated pairs is now reducing. I can also show just the positively correlated pairs by clicking this only show positively correlated pair assets here and you can see we've got the number the, the display changes accordingly. So the hundreds that's obviously where the, the, the instruments match up, US 30, US 30, that's always going to be 100. But effectively, the data will be mirrored either side of this, it's a bit like a mileage chart. So you can take one side of the chart or the other, it's up to you, you can use it how you wish. Same goes for only show negatively correlated pairs, if I click that option, I can see I've got these two very highly negatively correlated pairs here, so cable and euro sterling. And it's just going to replicate that on the other side of the, of the line. So if I dial this down a little bit and, and open the filter up to say 80% on both and then show all, you can then see exactly what we've got. So when you get a tick, you can see highly correlated pairs in our green and yellow color, which obviously can, we can change if we want to, to whatever you fancy. You can change it to uh, orchid if you like. If you like the sound of orchid, change it to orchid. So now we've got it, all the positively correlated colors in orchid, and we can put our negatives in whatever color we want from this drop down here. So let's go for uh, let's go for something quite bright. How about uh, a yellow? So we want to clearly differentiate our positively correlated colors and our negatively correlated colors. And this market's quite slow at the moment. It's just gone five o'clock in the UK. So. Uh, the tick date doesn't come in that quickly. We're running this on a sterling chart at the moment. I can also control the size of 
the text. So if I can, if I increase this to say 12 points, you'll see when we get a tick, this will basically re-render into a much larger scale. I can also increase the vertical spacing if you're using high-res monitors on things like um, uh, Apple's running emulators and things like that, you may want to increase the, um, increase the spacing if you're running ultra high res monitors. Um, so you've got complete control over all of the way all of this is displayed. You can control the calculation frequency. You've got a custom spacer option for people with running super high resolution. You can control the uncorrelated color on here. So any uncorrelated colors are uh, where the correlation falls basically below the thresholds in between the thresholds. So you can see anything which is below 80 and above minus 80 will go into the uncorrelated category. And the hundreds, that's obviously, we talked about that, that's where you get a perfect match between the pairs. You can control the color there. So we're gonna go for whatever you wanna make that white, say, make that stand out a bit. In the same way, we can control the title color. So again, these changes are taking a bit of time to come through because the, there's it's not much going on in the market at the moment. So I can change that title color there to whatever I want. And again, I can also change the acid text color as well to make that stand out a little bit. So you've got complete color control here uh, and, and display control. And you also got control over your calculation frequency as well. And most importantly, you can you can hook in any assets, any assets you want to. This is not just a Forex system. This is basically anything you want to you want to analyze so it could be as i say stocks which is normally accessed through cfds on mt4 um, indices commodities and forex so this is again really a universal real-time correlation analysis tool and the other thing that's worth mentioning is if you go to a different time frame you can see we've got a different profile on this hourly chart because the beautiful thing about the jfx tools which run using the Java interface is they can handle unique profiles for each time frame of the MT4 chart. So going back to M1, it loads our M1 profile. H1, we've got a totally different ball game running on M1. And the interface will update itself dynamically as you can see. So it's, up, it's loaded all those pairs in there for our H1 profile. And we go back to this profile, it's a totally different setup. So you can have a lot more control. So you can, if you wanted to, you could have all your indices running on one chart or one time frame, uh, your foreign exchange correlation analysis running on another time frame, and, and maybe your commodities running on another one. It, you know, it's up to you. You can you can configure this how you want. So uh, this is going to be released pretty soon. Um, you know, the, the, this testing's pretty much done. Uh, pretty happy with it. So uh, yeah. I'll send an email out to all the existing customers and then probably do a little press release once it's ready to go, but it will probably be early next week. And it's the 8th of November today. So after the presidential election, which will be most interesting. So thanks very much for watching, folks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Info at fxargotrader.com.